Hello children, good morning. Welcome to online max class. Today we are going to discuss about numbers and types of numbers. Numbers and types of numbers. In numbers, so at first we, we will going to see about real number system. Real number system. At first, natural number. What is natural number? So first natural number and zero together we get a whole number and then next one whole number and negative numbers together we get an integer we get an integer integers terminating decimals and repeating decimals together we get a rational number Except rational number, remaining numbers are called irrational numbers. In irrational numbers, so non-terminating and non-repeating is called irrational numbers. Rational number and irrational numbers together, we get a real number system. We get a real number system. For example, natural number. Natural number starts from 1, 2, 3, etc. Including 0, we get whole number. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. is called a whole number. Here, including negative numbers. Whole number including negative number. That is a natural number. Negative of natural number, we get an integer. We get an integer. Perfect square number, positive number, 0, negative numbers are called an integer and then fractional part of the number is called a rational number p by q form of p by q these are all the examples of rational numbers negative decimal number uh, fractions negative fractions so these are all together we get a it's a repeating decimal numbers a repeating decimal numbers terminating and repeating decimals this is terminating decimal. This is repeating decimal. Together we get a rational number. Except a rational number. Remaining numbers are called irrational numbers. That is root 2, root 3, pi value, root 10. This is a this is endless. Repeating, not repeating and non-terminating is called a rational number. Rational number. These are all the examples. Next one. What are numbers? What are numbers in math? A number is a mathematical tool. A number is a mathematical tool. Mathematical tool. Which is used in counting individuality quality. Individual qualities. Calculating. And quantifying. These are all the mathematical tools. In general, decimal number system is used which consists of 10 digits. What are the 10 digits from 0 to 9? These are all the numbers. In binary numbers, we are using only zeros and ones. Only using zeros and ones. So this is a decimal number. Decimal part of the number is a 7. And binary part of the number is 1001 or 1 or 10 or 100 or 101. These are all the binary digits. In binary digits, we are using only ones and zeros. Next one is natural number. What is natural number? For so from 5th to 6th students, so we are going to discuss about this is a natural number. So this is a new for you natural number. Natural number start from 1. So that is within the bracket. This is the bracket. Set bracket. Name of the bracket is called a set bracket. One, the number start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. So it is also known as a counting number. Known as a counting number. Contains the elements. These are all the elements. These three dots denotes so on or etc. Or going on. Only three dots. Ends with three dots or a three dash. This is a so on or going on. It is denoted by the symbol capital N. The ellipsis signifies that the number going on forever in that pattern, in that pattern. Next one is whole number. What is whole number? 
a set of numbers whole numbers includes all the elements of natural number plus zero number zero it is denoted by capital w set so start from the set bracket with a set bracket the number start from zero is called a whole number zero one two three four five six etc etc only three dots and then the slight addition of the elements zero to the set of natural numbers generates the new set of whole numbers simple as that simple as that next one is an integer next one is an integer the set of integer includes all the elements of the set of whole numbers and positives so which is the positive that is a positives sorry opposite so set of whole numbers and opposites or a negatives positive number and negative number and zero is called a integer is called an integer opposite means which opposite means the negative of counting number counting number means natural number it is denoted by capital z the numbers here left side of zero is a negative value and right side of the zero is a positive value here zero nearer to zero one here positive one and uh, the right side it's a uh, left side of zero is a negative one which is the uh, which is the greatest negative number means minus one is the greatest negative number the number increases here increases the value is decreases value is decreases greatest negative number is minus one next one is rational number set of rational number includes all the numbers that can be written as a fraction or as a ratio of integers denominator cannot be equal to zero it is denoted by capital letter q the number in the form a by b where a and b are integers here b not equal to zero always b not equal to zero then only we say rational number rational number may also appear in the form of the decimals if the decimal is repeating or terminating it can be written as a fraction therefore it must be a rational number irrational number except a rational number remaining numbers are called a rational number a yeah, and rational number is an any number any number that is not rational it is a number that can be that cannot be written as a ratio of two integers cannot be expressed as a fraction and a irrational number has endless non repeating digits to the right of the decimal point next one is even number what is a even number even number means only divisible by 2 it's only divisible by 2 it is divided by 2 then we say is a even number the a number divided by 2 means it is an even number otherwise it is called a odd number the number ends with 0 2 4 6 8 these are all called these are all called even numbers remaining numbers are called odd numbers a number n is even if there exist a number k such that n is equal to 2k where k is an integer this is the formal way of saying that if n is divisible by divided by 2 we always get a quotient k with no remainder here no remainder having a no remainder means that n can in fact be a divided by 2 next one is an odd number an odd number is any number that cannot be divided by 2 that cannot be divided by 2 so example 25 cannot be divided by 2 so 25 is odd so we say in in, the, in divisibility rule that the number is a divisible by 2 if it last digit is 0 2 4 6 or 8 therefore any number whose last digit is not 0 2 4 6 or 8 is an odd number that is simply we say 1 3 5 5 7 or 9 these are all the odd numbers ends with 1 3 5 7 or 9 it is called a odd number next one is prime number a number that has 
only two factors only two factors what are the two factors itself and one itself and one example seven is a prime because the the only numbers that will divide into its evenly are one and seven the number which uh, which table in which table one table and seventh table so it is called a prime number two is also a prime number one table and two table three is a prime number only one table and three table let us take four four in which table one table two table four table more than two factors means it is called a composite number it is called as a composite number next definition of composite number a number which a number that has more than two factors more than two factors so more than two factors means it is called a composite number for example the number 8 the factor of 8 are 1 1 table 2 table 4th table and 8th table more than two factors is called a composite number i think so you are all understood revise all the revise all the types of numbers here recap the number and its type first one is a natural number first one is a natural number starts from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 whole number starts with 0 1 2 3 4 etc integers positive numbers zeros negative numbers are called integers fraction that is a fraction numerator by denominator is called a fraction next here including zeros and decimals is called a rational number except rational number remaining numbers are called irrational numbers and these are all together these are all together we get a real number this is a real number and imaginary number means here negative the square root of minus 2 square root of minus 2 that is uh, i square is equal to i square is equal to minus 1 value right so this is a imaginary value it's so not for you kana these are in the higher secondary prime number what is a prime number prime number means number only divisible by 1 and itself these are all the prime numbers composite numbers more than two factors is called a composite number even number means ends with 0 2 4 6 8 and odd number means 1 3 5 7 or 9 these are all the numbers and its type i think so you all understood revise everything and do home test in your home be safe and be good thank you children